and welcome to Rolling With Reviews. I'm Will, and with me is the main ingredient of my balanced game meal, <laughs> Sarah. And today we're doing a review of Yahtzee, specifically Cup of Noodles and Spam. Sarah, tell us a little bit about this game. All right, Yahtzee is the classic roll and write game of attempting to meet 13 different goals and scoring the most points to win. So Will, why did we pick up these little gems? So I was talking to my mom and she says, why don't you have easier games to understand? And she specifically named Yahtzee. And I realized we don't have copies of Yahtzee. So now we do. And we're doing this video for her. <laughs> yes. Plus, uh, we started seeing other people on the board game um, various sites as seeing like the spam version and go, oh, I need that. Yeah, I mean, they're super cute. Well, I mean, I guess we should talk about why do we like these? And I guess that's one of them. The aesthetics are really cute. Yeah, the cup of noodle feels like a cup of noodle cup. Uh, the, the spam has its own container and the dice are all pink and spammy. And uh, the cup of noodle ones has all the different food stuffs that you would uh, find flavors of. I can't say they're actually in there because it's cup of noodles. There's no actual meat or whatever. <laughs> it's all artificial. <laughs> it's anyway. all artificial. I think it's things that you could add to a cup of noodle. Well, I think it's the flavoring. Yeah, it's the flavoring. Too, too. It's the flavoring. Yes. So um, we also like well, that... You could mix it. You could do spam flavored cup of noodle. You... Could you? Gross. <laughs> well, I, I personally not sure I would do that, I'm... but yeah. Um, but when it comes to the actual gameplay of Yahtzee, regardless of what version, we do like that it is simple and light and um, can still be a lot of fun. Yeah, I, I mean, there's a reason why it's such a classic uh, because it has a such a strong foundation mm -hmm. for when it comes to manipulating dice. That's why a lot of people will actually take inspiration from Yahtzee and put it in their board game. And when it comes to like describing their board game, they said, well, it's using a Yahtzee mechanic. Right. And so many people know like, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. So you roll the dice, have two re-rolls, keep whatever. Yep. That's, that's it. That's, it. Uh, that's why there's so many games based off of this and so many other roll and writes that, yeah, build off of it. So what we don't like about the game, and as, as much as there's a, a lot hard, bleh, you're working with the probability of the dice, dice can still be very random. And there is no actual manipulation. Of, there's nothing in the game that allows you to change dice to anything else. So... Sometimes the dice can just really hate you. Yes. Really. Uh, but specifically with these editions is they're terrible when it comes to storage. Yeah. There's no lid uh, for any of them. They all come... It's essentially a dice cup, a pencil, some score pad... And the rule. The rules. And as you can see, the they stick out. I mean, I guess if I turned it sideways... You can kind of get it to fit in and the, so you could probably do better than I did to try to get it all to sit in there. But like even with the cup of noodles, unless I folded the rules a different way, it still sticks up. And as, I don't know, maybe it's just because we're more hardcore gamers. I, I like lids to my games. I like the components to fit inside. I don't, I don't mind the cutesy, you know, shape because it is a gimmicky themed thing i just would have preferred at least a lid to keep the dust off of the components yeah and the sad thing is a lot of the greatest parts of this theme were on the box packaging yeah and which you pretty much have to tear apart in order to get to the game mm -hmm. uh but yeah it was like a serving size it's you know such well, the and spam such. one still has a side panel that shows that fun serving stuff but i don't think yeah the cup of noodles just says yahtzee on one side and cup of noodles and it's nothing on the bottom so it doesn't have that serving size thing the spam has the one side that does but um I understand the cutesy fun packaging, just would have preferred something over them. Right. Also, uh, we got asked, is there any variant rules? Yeah, because you'd think as a spam, okay, okay, you definitely have to do something creative with, with Yahtzee. It's Yahtzee. It's, yeah. it's, there's nothing that calls out the I think food. I think that's why there's still numbers on there, because yeah. you still need the numbers to play the game, so they didn't even... In fact, the rules have a key that shows, you know, the 
the sides uh, and what number they are just in case you can't see it on the dice so uh, yeah, there's no variant rules, which would have been fun, and I'm kind of surprised, like Will said, they didn't. I mean, part of me is surprised, part of me is not surprised. There's other games like Love Letter, maybe just because Love Letter is a newer game, and they did little variants for different themes on that one. Yeah, I, I mean, I would have thought, well, you could play Yahtzee, but you could maybe also play a spam game oh, and, yeah. and then they'd have something that utilizes the pictures because the, the money went into making the dice yeah that's true i, I don't know why uh the other thing that uh i know sarah doesn't like but i absolutely love is just how loud uh it's so loud i don't like the loudness yeah now if you're like me and you strive for the loudest one possible i definitely recommend the cup of noodles because in order to keep it a um don't use it to eat they put a hole at the bottom that only amplifies the sound making it so much louder yeah i wish i'd had earmuffs i mean i put on uh, one of my beanies and i put on my hood I wish I'd had earmuffs to go along with it because, oh my god, it was so loud. Maybe because we have hardwood floors, but, uh Yeah, this is rocks in your dryer loud. It's, oh, god. It's awesome. Mm, it's nope. Yahtzee. <sighs> Yahtzee Extreme. So let's move on to our rating. Okay, so for our rating, we each have... 1d6 worth of rating to give. 1 is low, 6 is high. We give our number, reason why, and we add them together and see what it rolled for us. Sarah, what did Cup of Noodle, Yahtzee, and Spam Yahtzee roll for you? Or well, if they rolled differently, you can also say that. Um, no, actually, I would say for me, they both rolled a 3. I mean, it's one of those games that if someone else wants to play it, I will play it. It's probably not one I would ask to play because there's just so many other roll and writes, even on the lightweight end, that I would rather play over Yahtzee. But it's been fun. Been We've been reintroduced to this game. Like, I really didn't play it much as a kid, but our friends that we play with uh, our iGame nights every week, they, they live in Ohio and we're here in California. And I don't remember who brought it. Well, they must have brought it up because we had never played Yahtzee together. Um, and they're like, hey, you want to play Yahtzee? It's on Board Game Arena. And I'm like, uh, sh sure, I, I haven't played it in years. They are so much better at it than we are. <laughs> so much better. Uh, talk about the difference in <laughs> skill levels. Like, they actually get the bonus points for the sets of numbers to the upper part. I'm like, I think I got close once, like got 52 points maybe. But I'm just, anywho. It's been fun replaying it with them, and so when they ask to play it on an ad game night, I'm going to play it. But in general, I'm going to suggest something else, but it's classic for a reason. Yeah. For me, it also rolled a three. Uh, this is just a staple of board gaming. Mm -hmm. It can be any, any person can play this game. Uh, it's not hard to understand, easy to explain. Uh, plus, it also is what I'd call a gateway into role play or roll and write games, uh, which we have some that are just very, very dense. Yes. I wouldn't necessarily introduce them to those versions because there's just so much going on. However, if I'm going to ever work them up to it, I will need to start with a game like Yahtzee. And plus, throw in the, the whole spam and cup of noodle yes. motif. It's a little bit easier than, say, your basic vanilla version of Yahtzee that's just like a plain black or brown cup right. and some basic dice. Uh, so it's looks aesthetics even help it in that respect. Uh, but essentially, I recommend game designers uh, play this game, understand it, because it also teaches probabilities very well that can become the foundational building blocks mm -hmm. of a much more bigger, complex game uh, for design purposes. So whether you're a player or a designer, it's your solid three middle average where you want to start right? and then go from there. And if Cup of Noodles and, and or Spam are not your jam, there's been a variety of themed ones over the years. I know a bunch of people are like, oh yeah, I got the Firefly version and stuff like that. And, and for me, it's like, yeah, there's, I looked through the history of thematic, well, you know, as much as thematic as it gets, but 
flavored Yahtzees. And there's some that I would have preferred, but for what's available right now, um, I think these are really fun. I mean, um, if I had to pick, I would do cup of noodles because I am so much more a cup of noodles person than spam, but I think they're both really super cute. And so uh, definitely a, a, like you said, a way to get people into the game just with this light veneer of, uh, you know, different theme than just basic numbers, a score sheet, and a pencil, and there you go. Now, now saying it's not your jam, now I want a, a version that's a jar of jam <laughs> with like and, translucent dice that are different jams. <laughs> and, awesome. and you know what that means? Mm. Then you have to get one for peanut butter too. Yes. You would have to have a peanut butter and jam and, oh wait, then that goes into bread and oh my goodness, that would just go off into... So there you go. There you go. I'm hungry. How about you? Yeah, so between the two of us, <laughs> it scored a 6 out of 12, middle of the road, but that's not a bad thing. That is the foundational staple mm -hmm. of where an average should be and where I think a game should yeah. start. Agreed. So, Yahtzee, Spam, Cup of Noodles, cool stuff. So hopefully any or all of that is helpful. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can reach us on the various social media platforms at Rolling With Two, that's T-W-O. We're on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and on YouTube, please like and subscribe. And we've been Rolling, Rolling With, with reviews. reviews.